Welcome, welcome to the talk show. That's a very coherent show we're doing instead of a compo studio with incoherent. I am here with a bunch of people that did cool stuff today. And we are actually here with some people that brought us an award show to revision for the first time in two years. Because we all remember the moment the Cine Dog Awards were like a bitch and left to assembly and then died. So luckily this oh, year... Fuck you. Truck has different opinions, which he is allowed to spew in a minutes in his five minute segment he's gonna have. So yes, a talk show, a talk show about things. Things that happened today. The Danes brought us an award show unlike any other. And we're very happy to have them here. I'm on the couch, Ben Sheets here with Purix, who was one of the organizers of the Dub Awards. Tropical Traveler of Pooh Brain, one of the winners of a, an award. And Farfar, who was wearing a hazmat suit <laughs> during the show. <laughs> no context, no context. <laughs> so, today the Dub Awards, and I'm going to give the microphone to Puris to explain why and how the Dub Awards went from the sock in Denmark, where they were a known thing for the last decade, to revision in Germany, where they became a huge thing. Purix, why and how? Thank you. No, really. I mean, we're just trying to do something which was not that official. Trying to make people happy about stuff that's not, you know... A lot of people do a lot of cool stuff in the demo scene. And many people don't really get that much appreciated. And we're trying to find stuff and people that we like and love. Which is usually pretty odd, but still adorable. And we give them an award, <laughs> and I mean, basically, that's the simple concept about it. Can you give me some examples of the awards you handed out? Because we used the award shows <laughs> to give out best effects, best music, and best performance. But you chose a different route. What was the route you chose, and why? Well, I mean, actually, I, I do love this seeing the dog awards. I would love though. I would, I would love to have it back in some part but I mean that's a different story what what we think is a good idea is to to bring to bring in front people who are doing stuff which is not necessarily involved in a demo as such so that would be for this year it was I mean we had a best info disc performance which was Havoc could be anyone it was Havoc because Havoc has been in the info disc for a shitload fucking a lot of parties, and it's been doing a great job. And even I saw Smash was nominated, and even him shagging a girl in the info desk wasn't a big enough performance. Well, that's part of the top thingy. I mean, you go more for the content than the, the outing of the thing. So we are here with one of the winners. Can you tell me why Pooh Brain won an award? Who brain won an award for the best teen experience? That that was that was the award. At twelve. <laughs> <laughs> and that award is because Pooh Brain is obviously one of the best newcomers, and and more than just being a newcomer, they kind of brought more than just bringing a demo to a party. They also brought spirit to the party. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, I, yeah, we're not teens though. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you're not teens, but. It, you know, for us, all farts, it feels like teen. So yes, Trevor, you won the teen award. You're all in your early to mid-twenties. But how does it feel to be awarded for your spirit and your style? Uh, it feels like the only award I ever wanted to win, I, I just won. And it's awesome. And I think we, 
us brew brain we can all agree on that because this is just a fun thing of appreciation and that we love because we are appreciated and that's all we wanted to do like give something back and that works so you hear it that was things all about appreciation and giving appreciation back and if, for people that don't know brew brain released their first demo last year at revision have been steadily releasing demos and have been inspiring people all over the world. So, congratulations on your award. Oh, thank you. And now, Far Far, you're wearing a hazmat suit. <laughs> Can you explain why? <clears throat> well, this particular hazmat suit was a part of the Dove Awards where uh, we were giving out the uh, award for the best towel. And obviously, that was won by uh, Truck Towel. <laughs> truck Towel. So the idea was that on a white background, if people were wearing white suits, the towel would kind of disappear, or we would kind of disappear, and only the towel would remain. And that, w- <laughs> that was kind of the idea. It was kind of like in old children's TV shows, like there was a black background, and people all in black. Oh, you can. And, and you would kind of uh, have these people wearing, you know, doing puppet shows and kind of shit. And that, that was kind of the idea. That, uh, it's, it's, <laughs> I want to say, like, can I, can I get my... Yeah. Okay, did it work? Far, I, far, it didn't work. We saw two, <laughs> we saw, <laughs> we literally saw two Danish guys in hazmat suits <laughs> in their underpants dancing with truck towels. So yeah. it wasn't what you guys envisioned, but it was entertaining nonetheless. <laughs> and I want to actually give the mic, uh, you know, truck has his, truck has a column in a bit, but I want to have truck's quick response to winning the best towel award. Which is the towel one? Eight. Wow. <laughs> eight. eight. So, wow. to, to wrap up the double awards, Purix, are you happy eight. with the result of bringing the double awards from a small Danish demo party to a big German party? I don't know how to pronounce that. Actually, yes, I'm very happy. I really want to know what skill that they did. This could have gone so wrong, but it didn't. And I'm very happy that people kind of. Eight. Well, took it. They kind of just. Took it along. Uh, they took it, they went with uh, it. Uxi, like Uxi, Purex's mom. Oh, Trevor! Yeah, yeah. Oh. I, I don't mean, I'm sorry. Uh, Purex's mom is a uh, sweetheart. That's fair, you can bring mom jokes. She's uh, sweetheart. Uh, she's, 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 she's uh, sweetheart. I'm product, sorry, Purex's mom. Uh, Trevor, are you happy with winning this yeah, award? Is this it's not a related crown achievement to the Purex legacy? Or will you guys now strive harder to become even greater? Well, I'd love to win the next second double award winner award. So yeah, this is definitely a big thing. You have to try harder and get further. Get further. That would be the second second award winning award award. Yeah, it's it's. And outside of your dwarf, do you have anything to add? But once you start learning that, you start learning. Dwarf is just literally talking about the So that's. Far, far, with a, in a hazmat suit. Any yes. last words from you in a hazmat suit? <coughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Just a few last words about the double words as a concept. Um, they, they, uh, they kind of arose when we were um, coming back from kindergarten in Norway. We are in the car going back from Bilon Airport. Um, I was driving, I think, and people were in the back seat, and they were talking about random shit. And it was kind of like, wouldn't it be funny if, like now that the um, now that the scene awards had died, wouldn't it be funny if we made some other awards and rewarded stuff like, I don't know, <laughs> more silly hat stuff. at the party or something? <laughs> and that was after TSAC where we had the high, the the tall hat and that, and that kind of thing. And I don't know. I think we had a we we do a lot of stuff at TSAC that's kind of stupid, but yes. the party is small enough that we kind of incubate stupid shit. Yes. And it's kind of you know we have an idea. And we kind of incubate it and make it into something. And it turns out it's kind of funny. And now it's here at, at Revision. And it turns out that the small ideas it's that you funny. kind of, you know, that you incubate at a small party without a lot of bureaucracy around it, it can kind of turn into something. And that's the, the value, I think, of small parties with a small amount of bureaucracy and a small amount of organization that you can just get an idea and it's kind of spontaneous and you do some shit. And it turns out to be really cool. I mean, that's, it's, um, it's yeah. That's the best stuff I've I heard for a This is, this is indeed deep, and this is also <laughs> summing up the demo scene to a great extent, like doing dumb shit because you can at a small party, 
bringing it to a bigger party and realizing that everybody will still enjoy that. So yes, thank you. Thank you, Danish Brigade, for bringing us the double award. Thank you, Pooh Brain, for winning one. <laughs> thank you, Dwarf, for your mom. <laughs> and now, now I want to go on to the next item of this talk show. And this talk show kind of deteriorated. So the next item will be the five minutes of truck. <laughs> Sir Garbage Truck, will I'll you? I'll go on. Uh, will you join me? We know you, so I will actually I will time you. But yeah, you have to ask to, to protect you. Yeah. That's kind of warm as well. <laughs> Very well prepared. Oh, they were awesome moves. Yeah, I'm ready my one. Yo, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, uno uh, vam stor fed. That's an arty party now. So here we go, people of rev of revision. Sir Garbage Truck, a figure known among many people, will now have five minutes if these guys can shut up for a bit, because Truck will now lay down the law for five minutes. I'll give you the microphone, I count to three, and you can go for five minutes. The mic and the camera are yours. Three, two, one, go! Okay, the coolest thing that has happened this so far. My friend Keen, who happens to be from the Ukraine, which those of you who are paying attention to stuff, unlike me, may understand that there is some crap going on there. I'm not going to talk about the crap. I'm going to talk about my friend Keen. Keen got a visa. Keen wants to do a demo party in the Ukraine. When he does, we should all go. Keen got a visa. He's here. He brought me, well, he brought everybody. This, uh, uh, I don't, it's a sash, which is now tied around my towel, uh, showing that, well, there are folks in the Ukraine that uh, want to be independent. At least I understand that to be the way that he is saying it. That is the coolest thing. He gave me the sash. Uh, folks, one of them coolest things about the demo scene is that you get to meet people from other countries, other cultures, and you become friends. There ain't much better than that. Hell of a lot of good music, hell of a lot of good productions are going to show up. We got friends. It rules. Truck was done in one minute thirty-two. Thank you, Truck, for your one and a half that minute of Truck. Uh, Important. And Truck will be back in tomorrow's talk show with more five minutes of Truck. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> more five minutes of five minutes of. So that was a show, unless Moki managed to bring Gasman out. I just wanted to cover that. No. So this kind of wraps up the talk show for tonight. <laughs> Thank you very much, old Danish people. Thank you as well. Thank you for calling me old. <laughs> Thank you, Pooh Brain. Yeah, you're welcome. Team experience. Glad to be here. Thank you far, far for your hazmat suit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ovi. Thank you very much. I love you. <laughs> I love you too, and I mean it. And thank you, Truck, for your one and a half minute of important talk about Ukraine, which is actually more important than people actually now realize. Wood. That probably wraps it up for this tonight's talk show. Tomorrow we probably have a longer talk show with more guests and something more coherent. But then again, <laughs> seeing the amount of alcohol going around, I hardly doubt it. Thank you very much. This was the talk show at Revision. <laughs>